It was about two weeks ago when uh, Dr. Michael Wall came to Washington to receive an award, the Unsung Public Heroes Award given by the Campaign for Public Health Foundation for his work at the Poison Control Center. He came by my office after receiving the award and we were chatting for a few minutes and he was the first person to bring to my attention the danger of these laundry detergent pods or packets. I own them, most people do, they're convenient, they're in my home, and it turns out that for most Americans, it's just another product that you use safely every day and never think twice. But it turns out that there's also some hidden dangers. The poison control centers around America, like the one that Dr. Wall uh, represents are sounding the alarm about these laundry detergent packets and pods. Thousands of concerned parents and grandparents are calling in and reporting children are mistaken these brightly colored packets for being some form of candy and they bite into them with disastrous results. In 2014 the National Poison Data System reported more than 17,000 children Export, exposed to caustic chemicals in liquid detergent packets or pods, mainly by ingesting them. Of these, 769 children needed to be hospitalized for seizures, gastric burn, respiratory arrest, comas, and more. One out of every 130 children then had to be placed on a ventilator. I remember that when Dr. Wall told me that number. In 2014, the Illinois Poison Control Center received 449 calls related to children exposed to these packets, a 10% increase from the previous year. And experts believe the actual number is much higher because calling the Poison Control Center is voluntary. So let's time, it's time for us to do something about it. Today I'm sending a letter to the American Society for Testing and Materials. It's a public-private entity that's charged with developing voluntary industry standards for consumer products, urging the group to expedite the process when it comes to these detergent pods and to finalize safety standards as soon as possible. At the same time, I'm going to introduce legislation requiring the Consumer Product Safety Commission to set mandatory safety standards for liquid detergent packets. They've already done this for many of the chemicals that we keep in our homes, childproof caps and the like. California Congresswoman Jackie Spear is leading that effort and I'm going to join her. I think she has a good bill. The standards that, that we're talking about would require the industry that makes this product to have stronger and more effective policies when it comes to the design and color of the packets to make them less appealing to children. The composition of the packets, including both the detergent and the water-soluble outer layer to make consequences ex of exposure less severe and proper warning labels. All these things to me sound like common sense, pretty basic. If you own a company that is trying to appeal to America's families to use your products, and you hear that one of those products may be dangerous to families, wouldn't you want to step up and show corporate responsibility and leadership? That's why we're starting with the voluntary approach, but if it doesn't work, we're going to move beyond it. With the help from industry stakeholders, government agencies, and families, we can protect more of our kids.